Hello, welcome to this short video about Jaguar XK8 checking cam chain tensioners. This is episode 1A in my series of XK8 videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check your secondary cam chain tensioners by removing the right hand side cam cover. So, if you're not aware, there are two types of cam chain tension. Well, there's actually three to be specific, but there's two main types a plastic one and a metal one. If you've got the plastic one, unfortunately these can fail and it can be catastrophic for your engine. So it's well advised to make sure you've got the metal ones. And this is how to check. So first of all, you're going to need some tools. You're going to have to remove the air filter, housing and the intake duct. So you're going to need a screwdriver, a 10 millimeter ratchet, a ratchet and a 22 millimeter spanner. You're going to have to remove the cam cover. So you need a 7, 8, another 10 millimeter socket an articulated ratchet joint, some extensions and some pipe grips. So first of all you need to remove the induction pipe and the air box to get at the cam cover. To do this you need to remove the oil breather so you can press both sides of the clips and pull it away from the cam cover. You then need to remove the MAF sensor socket or connector. So again you depress the middle tab and pull it away towards the cam cover. Then you need to remove the intake pipe from the throttle body by removing these two bolts at the top. And then you need to remove the intake pipe from the MAF sensor by releasing this Jubilee clip. The intake pipe should then just pull away from the MAF sensor and should be able to put it to one side. To remove the air filter housing, you need first need to remove the air duct that comes from the inner wing. To do this, you need to uh, release it from a tab that's just inside the air filter here that holds this in. So if you get a screwdriver approximately here, compress it and pull it towards the inner wing, it should be, be freed. You then need to take the nut off uh, to take the air filter out. This is a 10 millimeter nut and underneath you need to hold the, uh, the rubber mounting static with a 22 millimeter spanner. And then the air filter housing should just basically pull away. Further then, you need to remove the right hand side engine cover. Um, it, it's fixed in the points as shown here, the five points. You then need to remove the coil pack cover, those six bolts there, seven millimeter diameter, sorry, seven millimeter across flats. You then need to release the wiring harness from the front of the engine at those three points and the wire is harness at the rear or sorry the uh, the towards the uh, the drivers at the at the towards the bulkhead there's a harness clip there as well then you need to remove the coil packs and the harness or the little connectors to do this you need to compress the clip on the top and then push it away ideally with a, uh, a screwdriver. Be careful not to be, uh, apply too much pressure. You can then simply unbolt the coil packs then and they will pull straight out. You should add everything off now. I should be able to just take the bolts off the cam cover now and the cam cover should just pull off. The bolts towards the bottom here are particularly awkward because of the um, the tower, the shock tower. So you may need mole grips and apply that directly to your socket to get it started. It's not impossible, but the access is quite poor. There are actually three different types of bolts across the top here, which are used to uh, locate the engine cover. Every other bolt is an eight millimeter across flat, but this these these three are actually ten millimeter. And you may need a deep socket because of the threaded portion coming out of the top. Once the cam covers off, you can then see the type of cam chain tension it got. So here, this is all dark uh, plastic. This is the old type. This is a closer view. You can see this plastic, I believe, started out life being white, but it's been stained by the oil over time, 20 years plus. And it's now a brown color but this is the plastic tensioner this is actually the metal tensioner here uh, it, it's got new uh, this is actually the new ones fitted 
but if you see the body here is metal that's basically the new tensioner don't be worried if the tops aren't white they're brown because again it's the oil staining so there you go that's how you check your cam chain tensioners if you'd like to um, see how to uh, fit the cover back that you can go to episode 31 or even fit the seals go to episode 25 thank you very much for watching hopefully that's helpful please like comment share and subscribe if you'd like to see more xk videos